This Doctors Are In. Hi, and welcome to the Disc Doctors. I'm Pat Stoffer. And I'm Stephen Sashman with a phony UFO story. And as always, we're here to answer your questions about PCs. And we'll answer questions about Macs too. But first, we need to tell you how to ask the question perfectly. Yeah, perfect questions get perfect answers. So here's the first thing. Make it really, really easy. Second, include your full visa number and expiration date. <laughs> and if possible, uh, add visuals. We have an email from Daryl that will illustrate all of these points perfectly. Uh, here's the email. My wife runs a website creation and maintenance business. I am an artist. Store that in your mind. And was wondering about any type of graphics tool that allows me to draw freehand images onto my computer for her to use. I've heard about electronic notepads, but I'm not sure if that is what I want. Signed, Daryl. And he drew a picture of what he wants. Okay, check it out over here on my monitor. Here's the picture of what Daryl would like to have happen. And this is a great way to ask an email here. <laughs> He'd like to draw on the pad and get it on the computer. Well, Daryl, I don't know if you're Arthur C. Clarke or something, you know, pre-visualized communication satellites, but, I mean, you're a genius. They actually have this. Actually, right in this here. case, he predicted something that's been around for about eight years. This is a little so. pad here. I can take the pen, draw on it. In fact, I'll draw a little guy here. Looks kind of like your art. Todd's little an artist just like you here. are, apparently. And the uh, only difference is I wouldn't plug my pad into the monitor. I'd plug it into the computer. Yeah, right into the computer in one of those little slots, like that's USB or ADB on a Mac. Serious. Serious. On a, on the uh, or a USB. PC. Um, now, my question, of course, how did he get that drawing? I don't know. <laughs> the drawing's perfectly fine, Daryl. I mean, you're doing a good job. Why don't you just keep it that that's way? That's going to be quite a website with drawings like that. Daryl, thanks for the visual aid. Well asked. You know what I want to do? What do you want to do? Go to the phone. <laughs> oh, okay, we've got Mark on the phone with us. Mark. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm doing fine, thanks. Then what are you calling us for? <laughs> I'm calling about the um, blue sector right virus. Just any old boot sector right virus, or do you happen to have one? It doesn't have a I happen to have one. It doesn't have a name, just boot sector right virus. Hey, how do you know you have this virus, Mark? I'm trying to install a, install an operating system. Uh, which one? Uh, Windows 95. Okay, so oh. you try to install Windows 95, and it tells you that there's a boot sector virus? Yeah, it lets me get, sometimes it lets me get almost completed with it before I see it, and uh, other times right at the beginning it freezes up and flash uh. it with the boot sector right virus. You know... Call me Mr. Optimist, but do you think it's possible he doesn't really have a boot sector virus? Yes, I do. <laughs> and, and let me tell you why. Yes, because you just brought it up. I don't know. Well, no, it was just an, because I've seen so many odd things happening when you're installing Win95 or installing any software where you'll get error messages that aren't necessarily accurate. I mean, let's deal with, you know, the fact that you might, but I think let's entertain the possibility that, in fact, you might not. Well, let's do this first. What is a boot sector virus? Let's talk about that. It's a virus that infects the boot sector of the hard drive. Exactly. Now Thank that you. we know that, <laughs> we also need to know that the boot sector isn't something that you get to in uh, average everyday life when you're using the hard disk. No. It's the part of the drive that it contains the booting code the that uh, helps the machine decide what, what operating system it's going to boot right. and how it's going to start up after it's gone through its memory test. Right. And y it, um, I mean, I can show you the boot sector. We have this program that we've used uh, we before called, this. I'm going to do it, called Disk Mapper. <laughs> yeah. um, and so here's Disk Mapper showing everything on the hard drive. And you can see right down here, mm -hmm. it says boot sector. And right. this big, you know, red thing, because you don't want to touch it. <laughs> you drew that on there. <laughs> yes. You can't so. see the boot sector. It's completely hidden. It's not but in Doesn't disk that mapper. look cool? People are going to run down and buy disk mapper. And <laughs> look, I can show you the boot sector on the actual hard drive right here. And right there, there's the boot sector. If it's, if it's bloated, if you see any sort of infection, <laughs> you know that's a virus. See, this is professional television. We take something that you can't see and give you two, two visual aids. Okay, now one way to get rid of a boot sector virus, you, you'll hear sometimes that this doesn't work. It actually does work a lot of the time. What you do is you go in with F-Disk, in DOS, and you low-level format your hard drive. That can work. However... Look at my face. I know. It, this is the problem. Yes. You're not going to know if it works or not because it's a virus and it's not saying, hi, I'm a virus. Right. So what you have to do is you have got to get good virus protection software. You've got to go in and research the particular virus that you may or may not have and, uh, and see if you can come up with Mark. an answer like that. Have you, tried, have you used any of the virus protection software, McAfee or, or Symantex or Norton or any of those? I've used the Norton uh, antivirus. I'm not sure of the version. And um, good point. I cannot find the name of the particular virus. Well, uh, depending on um, the version of the antivirus software you're using and the age of the virus, you might have a problem there. You've got to make sure you've got the latest version of the software with the latest database of viruses. Um, and the easiest way to make sure you've got the most updated stuff is online. Yeah, I mean, that's how these, these virus companies stay in business. You've got to be using the literally this month's version of the, of the libraries and the most recent version of the software right. that you can. Now, uh, he's got Norton. You're not huge on Norton. I've seen, um, no, 
Oh, let's just say it that way so we don't get sued. But I will, <laughs> but I will say this, that Symantec's website, their Antivirus Research Center, is very useful if you're just trying to figure out what the virus might be and, right. and check it out and research it. That's www.symantec.com. Dot com slash AV Center. And if our post production guys are really good, there's something on the screen that's going to show you that so you didn't have to write it down when Todd was saying it. I mean, what, what do you like? Uh, Symantec's good. Um, I'm a McAfee fan. McAfee. Yeah. Or McAfee, depending on where you're from. <laughs> Go tomato, get McAfee. Tomato. So, and, um, this, is a, this is a Franklin fix. Spend a couple bucks, make sure you got the latest of all the stuff. You do need to run the virus protection software, get okay. it to check it out and see if it can find the virus, and then uh, you probably end up doing a format anyway, but hopefully uh, that'll fix it. Okay, doke, Mark. Yeah. Thanks, All Mark. Right, thank you. Great, oh, good wait, luck. Wait. He gets a t-shirt. He's our first caller. Mark is the first caller on the show. It, the balloons didn't come. The, oh. they were. He's the first caller on the show, so he wins a t-shirt. In fact, we're going to go nuts today. Everybody who calls the show, or everybody who gets their email answered on the show, gets a t-shirt. But wait, there's more. You can call. In. There's no more. Oh, phone no, that's what I realized as soon as I said that. I was <laughs> wrong. Uh, if you want to get your question answered, you first you got to call us and give us the question. Try calling 1 888 845 6637. Or you can send us email discsdoctors at If you haven't already, I'm serious about this. Get your VCR primed, especially if you're a game kind of person. You want to tell them why? Huh? Because we're going to talk about 3D Accelerator acronyms, the names of the various uh, software, and what it all means. Just to make your games work as well as they possibly can. And before you do that, though, we're going to do something really fun. You know the CDs that you can buy with music and stuff and whatever? We're going to show you how to make them from scratch. It's like Martha Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back.